The World Health Organization says mortality due to non-communicable diseases is projected to overtake the combined mortality from communicable, maternal, neonatal and nutritional diseases in Africa by 2030. To address this growing burden, the global health body advises countries to invest and reorientate primary health care systems. Virologists, molecular biologists, chemists and physicists in the CSIR Biophotonics Group are taking up the challenge. The Biophotonics Research Group focuses on um, investigating diagnostics that are photonics based for HIV and TB. At least that was the original goal. But now with uh, COVID coming to the fore, our diagnostics are also adapted to diagnose COVID. Logistical challenges such as storage facilities and access to large, expensive laboratory equipment hamper the quality of primary health care services in many of South Africa's rural and peri-urban areas. We want to design a multi-screening tool that will allow us to pick up both communicable and non-communicable diseases, make it small enough to take it to remote areas where patients are actually uh, don't have laboratories that they can um, access easily. And when they get to the healthcare facilities, it's a difficulty for them to still have their samples um, taken and then couriered to where the laboratories are in the big cities. So we want to make it easy for patients anywhere in the country to actually have access to these diagnostics tools. The CSIR Biophotonics Group has developed technology that converts a smartphone into a spectrometer to detect illnesses in bodily fluid samples like urine, saliva and blood. The system uses a white light. The white light is shared to the sample and from the sample it goes to the smartphone. The smartphone is as a spectrometer. This spectrometer will give us a rainbow. From that rainbow, if there's HIV, for instance, absorbed in red, the red will be dim, and then from that picture, we can send it to an app that currently we are developing, and then that app will do the analysis to detect the disease, HIV detection, or um, another disease that we are detecting. The novel point-of-care diagnostic has the potential of improving early detection of diseases and thus providing treatment much sooner. First, in terms of time, the tests that are taking two hours or two days will be cut to 25 minutes. And the second benefit is the cost. The cost of this system will be low compared to the other system that is present in the market. And the third one is the rural area test will be quicker, faster, the patient will not need to go to the hospital, you can do it on, on a bed and then send the result straight away to the cloud. And then the doctor that is in Pretoria can access this result and prescribe what to do. The invention is now a technology readiness level 7, which means that the CSIR prototype is ready to be tested in a real environment such as the CSIR's own medical center. Once the team has tested a minimal viable product there, the researchers will make the necessary tweaks and take the technology into other health facilities. <laughs>